Chris Ransom, and this is Kyle Lyle at his film session. So, on this throw, Lauletta, he's going to drop back and overthrow his target. Not a good throw. This next throw featured Kyle Lauletta and Lauletta is pit, throws it in the coverage here. Third play. Yeah, Joey was talking about the footwork and the mechanics and different things when we were watching the Lauletta tape, but then the computer froze at the 12-minute mark, and due to time constraints, I'm watching the tape by myself here, because um, his show's going live at the top of the hour, so I'm basically just, it's a nice throw by Lauletta, so I'm basically just watching the tape on my own, and I'm going to finish watching the tape, and then I'm going to call in his show at the last minute. A big penalty. That puts the spiders back into their own and the basically we've got to go all 16 minutes without the computer down, freezing again. You can tell I feel very tense right now, but Lauletta, this is a throw where Lauletta, oh, there's a penalty, let's move on to the next play. Um, very early in this contest. Yeah. 9:46 to go in the opening stanza. 35th meeting all time. 18 to 16. Richmond with the lead in the series. Collins does stay back. He'll shift over to the right. The receiver down low. Curtis Oliver locked in there. Lauletta back in the pocket here, and that's a nice completion by Lauletta. Yeah. Lauletta with a nice completion on that throw. Still 0-0 in the first quarter. Lauletta, and that was a good throw there. That completion. And this was a nice throw. The hand gestures, the motions this quarterback's making. This guy's ability to communicate with teammates in pre-snap movements is a on a very high level. Footwork can be inconsistent, but the mechanics, there's different issues with Lauletta. His deep ball accuracy is the big issue, and he will miss easy reads. Like, he won't necessarily always go for the deep target, even though there's a deep target wide open. So, that tells me a lot about his deep ball accuracy as far as tape goes. Um, Lauletta. Second down and ten. 325 to go. Duke's defense pride on the line here too. And he's gonna call a timeout. But you're gonna get a play as soon as back to the live action, Lauletta, and he's gets crunched. Then Lauletta gets sacked following the timeout. Kyle Lauletta drops back, throws it, and that's completed to his wide receiver. Second quarter here, we're watching Kyle Lauletta's tape, and this is just a great job by Kyle Lauletta so far, playing very smart. That was a bad pass, he underthrew that screen pass, and a really poor job underthrowing that. I know this guy was the senior bowl MVP, but so far this tape versus James Madison has been very underwhelming to say the least. And he gets pressured here, completes a screen pass, and this running back goes for a nice game. Um, Kyle Lauletta. Xavier Goodall is in the backfield, 5'10", the sophomore. They fake the handoff. Here's Lauletta. He's going to slide. I know when I did the Darnold film session, that ended up getting the most views, and I'm basically narrating the. Lauletta film session, the same way I narrated the Darnold film session, which people did not like that, but I'm in a hurry, so I have to get this up before noon, so since I'm in a hurry, 
I'm probably just gonna get that data updated. But this play, this is a nice throw by Laletta. No, never mind. That was an awful throw by Laletta. Back-to-back penalties that sets up a first and five at the twenty. And Kyle Laletta does a nice job throwing on the run, but he struggles in the pocket, which is another thing Joey and I noticed when watching the tape earlier. Because we got twelve minutes through this tape, and then the computer froze, and then I had to restart. Then it took ten minutes just to load this tape, just to load Google Hangouts, and Joey was more than patient, but. Nobody really cares about that. Let's focus on this throw, though. Lauletta, I believe this is a touchdown pass. No, he took a sack here, but he does throw a touchdown in this drive. It's either this play or the next play where he throws the touchdown and makes the big play for Richmond to put them in the lead. And this would be their only lead of the entire game. But... And the ball is well, it's definitely the next ball. play then. Um, Kyle Lauletta. Touchdown on third down. Very nice throw. Nice bullet in the red zone to his wide receiver. Richmond strikes first, but James Madison and Brian Short tied on their next possession. Lauletta dropping back. Overthrows it. Um, next play here, Kyle Lauletta. And Lauletta is going to throw on the run here. And he's able to take a negative 12 yard play and turn it into a positive. They don't gain any yards, but he avoids a 12 yard loss. And that's the takeaway for me. So Lauletta, he's going to get the ball back. Some protection looks for a man and it is caught retreating. Nice completion by Kyle Lauletta. That was at Rhode Island. The final score 38 to 3. What happens in the second half of this one remains to be seen. Kyle Lauletta really does a nice job here. And play clock down to nine seconds. Lauletta trying to get the word out, but the fans actually I think are having an impact on this play. Laletta back Here's the snap with in the pocket. To go. Run out he just pocket. he takes off here, doesn't see anyone open. Do nice it's not a board. bad play. It's not a great play, but it's not a bad play either. Still in the mid portion of the second quarter, Laletta trying to get something going on this drive here. And James Madison's the defending FCS champion, so back to pass Laletta. Threw that into coverage, a dropped interception. Snap to Lauletta, looking left, throwing left. Nice completion there by Kyle Lauletta. Um, this guy's deep ball accuracy is terrible compared to someone like Sam Darnold, but his short and medium accuracy and decision making and command of the huddle is excellent. Those are things to love about Kyle Lauletta. And Lauletta does a nice job with that completion, with that strike there, and really does a good job. And then Lauletta throwing on the run, very good job by Lauletta there. But that's the thing, he, he struggles in the pocket, but he's very good outside the pocket. He's very good at throwing on the run. He can improvise when throwing on the run. So... Stays in the pocket, gets sacked, still needs to clean that up, but there's definitely potential with Lauletta down the road if you develop him correctly. But here you see a three receiver set, and there's throws where he has the deep man open, but he doesn't go there. Like his deepest target's wide open, he doesn't go that route. I don't know if he doesn't trust his arm or if he doesn't trust his receiver, but his man is wide open and he doesn't make the throw, and it's really puzzling because and that was an interception. Now we get to watch the interception again in slow motion. And there were other slow motion plays in this tape, but I just chose to edit them out for time purposes. But that was a big play, that interception. 
And he's got to bounce back and correct that. What does he do? He overthrows it. And then you've got this play here. Five minute mark in the third quarter. Might be lower than that. It's hard for me to. That would be an interception. So far, I've seen three throws that would have been interceptions in the NFL. So, if we're going off that, that's something to take into consideration. There might be seven minutes in the third quarter. I thought there was five, but it looks like there's seven. But now it looks like there's only six or four minutes, but I can't even see the time length. Going over the top, and it's gone. Again, great. Yeah, so Laletta well, made a very good completion on this throw, and that was a nice completion there. Laletta really did a nice job on this throw, setting that up. Good overall job setting that up. And Kyle Laletta does a great job setting this up. And the Dukes did a very good job of keeping their heated composure. Kyle Aletta dropping back, making a throw. Pump back, he lost the football, and it ends up as an incompleted pass as he was. And well, Aletta's going to drop back. This is, I thought he, no, this is just the awful play. He throws it on the ground. It looks like he fumbled it, but he picks the ball right back up. So, this is about the part where the computer froze at. I don't know if it was the sack or if it was just this play, but Lauletta's, it's only a three-point game at the moment, and Lauletta takes a sack here on third down. Richmond gets a field goal, but James Madison responds with a field goal of their own. We're now in the fourth quarter. Lauletta throws it, overthrows his target on that throw. Some underneath opportunities for the spiders. We're at like the 13 minute mark of the fourth quarter. So, yeah, and we're only keeping track of the plays that Richmond has. That was a great throw by Lauletta to put Richmond in field, close to field goal range. There's another good throw which puts Richmond closer to field goal range. Another great throw by Lauletta. This team is in field goal range here. I'm going to pick up where we left back off here on this play, and Kyle Lauletta signals an audible here. He's got such a good command of the huddle. He overthrew that ball. That would have been an interception in the NFL. Just saying. But his receiver dropped that. You can't really blame Laletta for that. His receiver dropped that pass. Nice screen pass here by Laletta, the running back. Third and eight for Kyle Laletta. And we'll see what happens in this play. That was a good play. And first down and ten here. Field, which is Collins. There's about eight now minutes left, and Lauletta is in field goal range, right there, but he wants to get go ahead touchdown to get game the lead. It looks like there's about five minutes left. Maybe there's not eight minutes, but just a good use of clock management here by Richmond on this drive. The goal is to gain the lead. But that does not happen. As Laletta makes the throw, his receiver drops the pass. Laletta back in the pocket. Footwork really frustrated on this play. Tries to take off. Really can't gain any yards. And Laletta does tie it, but James Madison gets a go-ahead touchdown with 36 seconds left. And this is a nice throw. Richmond's out of timeouts. They're going to have to spike the ball here. They're going to have to play no huddle. They're going to have to keep the clock moving. And that's something that Richmond is going to have to do here. Spike the ball. 
And we're on to the next play. Kyle Lavletta back and overthrew it. They come straight on with the rush. This is Tyler again, and the Duke Lauletta throws it. It looks like they fumbled it, but they caught the ball here, and there's Lauletta's gonna have time for one more play, and he drops back, throws it, completion. Why didn't he throw it deeper? Why? Chris Ransom of Draftytopia. For more in-depth coverage of Kyle Lauletta, go to the Evolution Network on TalkShoe. I'm going to have a link to the episode of that. It's going to go live in two minutes, but I'm going to have a link to that episode. Also, Kyle Lauletta showed some great throws on tape. He also struggled in the pocket. He's great at throwing on the run, terrible in the pocket. I wish he would throw it throw with more confidence on some of the deep balls. He missed a lot of reads as far as deep ball progressions goes. The deep ball accuracy is a question mark. This guy won Senior Bowl MVP. I mocked him to New Orleans in round three. If you like that fit, go ahead, comment on it, like this video, share this video, subscribe to Draftytopia. If you have a different opinion, go ahead and post that in the comments section below. This is Chris Ransom of Draftytopia. And this is our Kyle Lauletta film session. Go to the Evolution Network right now. So long. The Utopia of Sports.